Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. The key to writing a high-scoring informal IELTS letter is to get the structure right. So this is what we'll start with. The lesson will also take you step by step through the whole process of writing an informal letter. Here's what we'll be covering. The six part letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, four simple steps of letter planning and a sample letter. You can use the same basic structure for answering both an informal IELTS letter and a formal one. Ideally, your essay should consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign off at the end. Start your letter with the greeting, which will be Dear whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one, state the purpose of the letter. That is your reason for writing. In paragraph two, write about the first bullet point. In paragraph three, write about the second bullet point. And in paragraph four, write about the third bullet point. And finally, sign off your letter. With only 20 minutes allowed for the task and a requirement of just 150 words, you won't be able to include much detail. The main paragraphs, that's two, three and four, only need to be around 50 words each. Aim for quality on your letter, not quantity. The right information written in the logical order. Having a structure to work with will help you to achieve this. Your first task is to decide if the question requires you to write an informal letter or a formal letter. If you get this wrong, you'll get a low score for task achievement. The two types of letter have a very different tone and style, and the language you'll use will vary. It's very simple to tell the difference. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The only exception is if the letter is to a close family member, when you would also use an informal tone. Here's an example of a question that requires an informal letter. Note the inclusion of the word friend in the second sentence. Here's the question. You have recently started working for a new company. Write a letter to an English-speaking friend. In your letter, explain the reasons why you change jobs. Describe your new job. Tell him or her your other news. I'll be using this question to show you step by step how to write an informal letter. It's essential to plan your letter before you begin writing. Planning will save you time, it will result in a more relevant answer and it will help you to meet the marking criteria. There are four steps to writing a high scoring informal letter. One, understand the topic. Two, identify who you're writing to. Three, identify the three things you must write about. And four, generate ideas. Once we've completed this quick and simple process, will be ready to write a high quality letter. For my step-by-step -step guidelines, I'm going to use our sample question. Here it is again. Pause the video if you want to read through it to refresh your memory. Now we're ready to create our plan. Step one, we need to understand the topic. The topic of the question will be stated in the first sentence. Here's a topic sentence from our sample question. You have recently started working for a new company. This is what your letter will be about. It's the purpose for you writing the letter and must be stated in the first paragraph. For example, I'm writing to tell you about my exciting new job. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out. Including it will gain you marks. Step two, identify who you are writing to, that is, the recipient of the letter. The person you're required to write your letter to 
will be stated in the second sentence of the question. In our question it says, write a letter to a friend. The appearance of the word friends confirms that in this instance we must write an informal letter. Step 3. Identify the three things you must write about. You must include three things in your letter and they will be shown in the three bullet points in the question. For example, in our question, they are explain the reasons why you changed jobs, describe your new job, and tell him or her, that is your friend, your other news. You don't need to write about anything else. Finally, we need to think up some ideas to write about for each bullet point. If we do this before we start writing, we'll know what we're going to say and won't need to keep stopping to think about the next idea. With only 150 words to write, you won't need many ideas. Just be sure to cover the three bullet points and develop each idea fully. Here are a couple of tips to help you. Write about a personal experience if possible. If you've experienced a similar situation to the one you have to write about, use this for your ideas. It will make planning quicker and help you to use natural language. You get marks for relevant ideas, not clever ideas. Your ideas do not have to be the best you could possibly think of. They just need to relate directly to the bullet points. So go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think of better ideas. Note your ideas beside each bullet point on the exam paper like this. For explain the reasons why you change jobs, I've noted down bored with job as medical centre receptionist, new challenge, not stuck in office all day. And for describe your job, I've noted estate agent, showing clients around houses. And finally, for the bullet point, tell him or her your other news, I've jotted down still enjoy rowing, rode in the county championships, second. We'll now add all this detail to the letter structure. When you practice, do this as you work through the planning process. Here's a quick reminder of the letter structure. And here is the structure with the detail added. Pause the video and spend a few minutes studying it. Spending time creating this plan will enable you to write much faster than if you don't have a plan and will also result in a higher quality of letter. It won't take you many minutes to create it, but it really is worth it. The two parts of the informal letter structure I haven't mentioned yet are the greeting and the sign-off. For the greeting, always start your letter with Dear, followed by the first name of the friend, for example, Dear David. You probably use Hi and Hello in emails and texts, but for letters, dear is much more appropriate, so stick with this. It can be helpful to use the name of a real friend who you imagine you are writing this letter to. This will make it easier to sound natural than if you write the letter to an imaginary friend. You must sign off your letter correctly. Use one of these phrases followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon keep in touch. For example, all the best, Jackie. Never add your surname when writing to a friend. Here's an example of an informal IELTS letter written following the guidelines and structure in this lesson. You'll notice that I've used contractions, for example, your, I'm, I'd. Contractions are the easiest way to show the examiner that you know you're writing an informal letter. This sample letter is well over the minimum limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other informal letter questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete letter in around 20 minutes. I've created step-by-step -step lessons with model answers for each of the seven most common IELTS letter topics. 
You'll find them all on my YouTube channel and on the website. I put a link to the writing menu page of the website in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.